Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Wednesday evening and this evening we are talking expectations versus reality. <laughs> um, <clears throat> as you all know, I am doing a £20 food budget for the week, which was going really, really well until I started looking at stuff today and realised that came out your store cupboard, that came out your store cupboard and that came out your store cupboard. And I don't feel that putting it out there that I'm doing a £20 food budget for the week is realistic or truthful if I actually pull everything off the shelves. Now, don't get me wrong, I am not putting my tea and coffee in there. Well, the coffee that I have like once a week. But I'm not putting my tea and my sugar in there, but I am putting in my milk. Um, because, you know, I would buy like tea one week sugar another week so I am putting in milk this time. Um, so what I've got for you this evening is I've got the costings for what I've had today and I've also got the costings for how much I have used that I didn't actually put in the budget so I've gone on to Asda and priced it and we're going to take the money out of the money jar so that we can see realistically how we can survive. So today I did my usual and I had my toast and jam for breakfast, as you do. So again, we're putting that at 20 pence. Now, for lunch, I took a portion of my lentil soup that I made earlier in the week, which has been budgeted for, um, I think. Did I put lentils on my list? Yes, I've put lentils on my list. So the soup is 25 pence. And I still had some roasted carrots over from last night. Now, they were budgeted for last night, so that's fine. So 25 pence for lunch. For dinner tonight, um, I've just, I'm just actually back from going to visit my mum in the care home. I was there for about an hour. So thankfully, I had, because I knew I was doing that, I took out rice and the creamy turkey and mushroom sauce thing. So I took out a portion of rice and I took out the turkey thing. And that was defrosted by the time I got home this evening. So that was just microwaved for a few minutes and I've just had that for dinner. So because we haven't costed that before, I went through it. Now your turkey was £2.44 for three slices. So I got three portions out of it. So that's 82 pence for today. The rice I hadn't budgeted for before, but I worked out for roughly a bag of rice that I got I would have bought from Asda probably about 20 pence, which is a generous estimate. My onion would be 10 pence, my mushrooms 30 pence, and my evaporated milk, which came from my store cupboard, but I have added on to the new budget, would have been 65 pence. So that is £2.07 and pence to make the three portions. So therefore... That was 69 pence for that, for today's dinner. Which means today I have spent £1.14. So that really seems, I'm, you know, I'm really quite impressed with that. However, that's only because I was able to batch cook. Um, You know, if you're in a bed sit or a hotel room where you can't cook, you're really, really struggling. But if you're able to cook a little bit, then this is this is working out not too bad. Now, what I hadn't budgeted for and what I think I should do to give us a realistic look at how budgeting for £20 is going, I did not budget for rice. That wasn't in my shopping. So that was 52 pence for a bag of long grain rice out of Asda. My carton of milk that has to be done because I have to have my tea, that's 69 pence. My bag of pasta that I used a third of for the meatballs, that was 41 pence. My Asda mayonnaise that I used for the rest of the pasta, it's £1.20. My lentils for the soup is £1.90. And my evaporated milk is 65 pence. So that's an additional £5.37. So I paid £8.99, so say £9.00. And we're adding on five, so that's 14. So that's £14.37 less than one. 
£14.36 we're sitting at at the moment for what I have eaten so far, what I've prepared so far. And thinking about it at the moment, I have another two creamy turkey mushroom things. No, I have another one because I ate the first one. Right, I have another one. I have two portions of meatballs left. I have one portion of soup left in the freezer. But I've also got the bacon and mushrooms and onion for the bacon fried rice. So that should get me through. And I've still got the rest of the loaf of bread. So whether I want to have a bacon sandwich, whether I want to have you know, or whether I want to make the bacon fried rice, whatever way I want to do it. I have still got that and I've still got enough carrots to do another huge loads of roasted carrots. So I'm going to do that tonight to take into work for, with me for lunch because they need to get done before they turn. So the carrots need to be cooked. So they'll be lunch tomorrow. That leaves me soup for lunch on Friday at work. So that's my two lunches sorted. Tomorrow night, I can either do bacon fried rice, which I probably won't do because I had rice with the turkey. So it's going to be the meatballs. So I'll have meatballs for dinner tomorrow. And then on Friday, I can do bacon fried rice or I can do the turkey sauce with pasta or such. Or I could have the turkey sauce tomorrow night with the rest of the carrots. Who knows? But I'm getting to the end of the week and I'm now looking to see what am I finishing off with? What have I got left? And how am I going to get through? Because standing here thinking I'm going to have rice for the next three nights is not that appealing. But because I have the carrots. But in saying that, what did we say I had spent? £14 and something, £14.36. So let's just see what that leaves me because I've got the money here. So we'll get the money jar. Oh, watch my little weight. So that's my receipt and there's the 10 pounds that I had under one pound and one pence. That was the change I had from Sunday. So that can go back in. The 10 pound, I have just spent five pound 37. Not to see me try to find this. So 37, 38, 39, 40, 50, 6 pound, 7, 8 pound, 9 pound, and a pound and 20s because I didn't have another pound coin. So that's the 10 pound. So that's my change. So that means I have 1 pound, 2, 3, Four, five, that's my penny, 50, 60, four. So I still have five pound sixty four left so it would be sensible i would think it would be very sensible i just pop that back up there that for the tail end of the week when i know that i've i'm covered if i have to to get myself some fresh things so what i might do is i might go to the local shop because i'm not driving all the way into perth that's a false economy um, but I might go to the local shop tomorrow evening and see what's reduced in their freshness section and get some stuff there. Even if I get myself like a bacon potato, tuna tuna, whatever. Um, or something. Who knows? We'll see what's in the section. And then that means that I'm getting something fresh. Because we should have fresh and I do have the carrots. But the prospect of rice for like three nights for the rest of the week is not, not overly appealing. So we shall see what we can get for fruit or veg, mainly veg, because I'm not a big fruit person, but veg. I'll see what I can get because even like a, a reduced stir fry, throwing that in, I could have 
bacon stir fry instead of bacon rice. That's a shout, Karen. I like that idea. So there you go. That's me as I do, you know, thinking on my feet. So I will I love you and leave you. I will go and sit and finish my cup of tea and settle down for the night. Catch you later.